Today, Apple has released the third beta of macOS Tahoe 26.1 to developers, and hopefully soon the release to the public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. The update came in at 3.06 gigabytes on my M4 MacBook Air and on my M4 Mac Mini. So I'll be showing you what is new right now. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is that if you have the clock icon pinned to your dock, you're gonna see that we now have the proper clock icon. So before the hands would be white in dark mode, this is now 100% fixed. I don't know why it took Apple this long to fix it, but it is now fixed and it looks as good as it should be. It was kind of interesting that it took Apple a while to fix this, but at least it is now fixed. Now the next thing I noticed is that if you were to go into your finder, go to settings, then turn on your hard disk, you're going to see we got a brand new hard disk icon. So yes, they did change the external hard drive icon here inside of the previous beta, but we actually got a brand new icon for beta 3. So before it had like little grooves, I could actually show you what it looked used to look like before. So before in Tahoe, this is what it looks like before. It just had like holes inside of it. But now Apple has cleaned it up and they removed the holes. It's now just gray. Personally, me, I prefer this look, but I don't know about you. Let me know what you think of this look down in the comments down below. And let's move on to the next change. The next change inside of this latest beta is that if you were to grab a widget and put it somewhere, before it would just default back and put it right there. But now you are able to move the widgets wherever you like. It's just a lot more convenient and a lot easier to do. So this is a little bug fix because inside the previous beta, you couldn't really move your widgets around. But now you can move your widgets wherever you like, which is really nice to see. Now the next change has to do with the TV app. You're going to see right here that the TV app icon has been redesigned right here. It's no longer just white TV text. It now has a little rainbow effect and this is part of a rebranding of the TV app. So if we were to go inside of the TV app, that nothing has changed inside the TV app so far. But Apple actually announced today that they're renaming Apple TV Plus to Apple TV. Just Apple TV. No more Apple TV Plus. Just Apple TV, which is a little bit interesting to see. Now this is definitely going to cause a lot of confusion because now we got three things named Apple TV. If we were to go to Apple's website and then go to TV and Home, we have the Apple TV box. We have the Apple TV app, and then we have the Apple TV service. So I'm not sure what Apple's going to do to differentiate these. Hopefully they've come up with something interesting on something new, because it is very interesting to see that Apple is renaming things just for the sake of renaming it. It was already confusing before for consumers on what Apple TV versus Apple TV versus Apple TV Plus was. Now everything is called Apple TV, which is very weird. Another bug fix that we got is that if we were to go inside the preview app and click on this line right here, it now actually says share. Instead of this button, we just say button, but now it actually says share here inside the preview app, which is very nice to see. Now that previous change also applies to here. Before, new tab would just be button as well. It would just not say anything, but now it says new tab, and it's a lot more consistent and a lot better inside of here. All right, this seemed like a very good bug fix update, but let's talk about a couple of things that happened inside this latest beta that we need to talk about. So if we were to go inside the clock app, we're going to st see that we still do not have the brand new ringtones inside of here. Even if we were to go to alarms, we still do not have any of the brand new reflection ringtones or little bird in here. Hopefully we get those sooner rather than later because it is very inconsistent to have them inside of iOS and iPadOS, but not macOS. I've also noticed that if you were to open up the apps app, there's not just a random line here anymore. The random line is now right here, although it's supposed to be a scroll bar, I think it is. I don't know about you, but macOS Tahoe 26.1 is feeling a lot better than ever before. And performance also seems to be a lot better as well. In fact, I actually installed it pretty much right away on my M4 MacBook Air. And it seems very nice to the feeling. And also battery life seems to be pretty good there as well. Now, obviously, there's a dip there from when I'm updated, but went pretty much back to normal right after the update. But now I'm going to run a quick Geekbench test to see how well macOS Tahoe 26.1 Beta 3 compares to Beta 2. All right, we now got our Geekbench score. We can see that they are just a little bit lower, not too much lower than the previous betas. Here are the previous betas in case you're interested. So not too much to know here. 
Now it is a little bit lower because of margin of error, but if it was a lot lower than the previous beta, then we would be talking about it a lot more here. But now I'm gonna talk about bugs that I still have inside of macOS. So if we were to go inside the app store and then search up an app right here, you're still gonna see that there are still weird random gaps right here. Hopefully these random gaps get fixed pretty soon because it is very weird seeing just two apps on here instead of three. Even if you were to scroll it down, the maximum, the minimum you will see is one. This should be two, I think. This should not be two, this should be three. Where everything seems to be very stable and very great, other than that minor issue and the other issues I talked about in this video. But thanks for watching, come on, subscribe, down my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!